Hi guys, this is your resource packet as members of the Coronavirus Council. This packet's due Friday, March 27th. The focus question that you'll all be answering on Friday in our virtual debate is how can our global community work together to fight the coronavirus? So when you're going through this packet, you wanna be thinking, how would we as a global community work together to come up with solutions to solving this global problem? So in addition to this packet, every day uh, we will be posting a daily news video and that news video will come with a few questions just so you're keeping up to date with what's happening each day. Here's a suggested work schedule for you. Um, it's up to you if you want to follow this schedule or if you would prefer to do more work on Monday, get sources A, B, and C done so you have less work to do on Tuesday. If you decide on Tuesday you'd rather do um, more of the work, then you'll have less to do on Wednesday and Thursday for the packet to be submitted on Friday. Before I start reading source A, uh, you'll be filling out this packet on your own Google Doc. So the questions, you'll type your responses here. Um, you'll make sure you're answering incomplete sentences and using evidence from the text when applicable. Um, if you are a student that prefers to just read it on your own, you do not need to listen to me read aloud the text, but this is for students that would prefer to hear them read aloud. Also, if you decide to take notes in a notebook or on a separate sheet of paper, that's fine as well. You can send a picture of that and text that to your social studies teacher. Source A, facts of the coronavirus. Recently, an outbreak of the coronavirus, now called COVID-19 in China, has caused global concern. It came from a seafood and meat market in Wuhan, China in December. It has since spread to other countries, including the United States. The COVID-19 has spread to almost 70 locations internationally. In the US, COVID-19 cases have been confirmed in all 50 states. A coronavirus is a virus that is found in animals and rarely can be transmitted from animals to humans and then spread person to person. What are the symptoms of a coronavirus? COVID-19 symptoms range from mild to severe. It takes two to 14 days after exposure for symptoms to develop. Symptoms may include fever, cough, and shortness of breath. What causes a coronavirus infection? Humans first get a coronavirus from contact with animals. Then it can spread from human to human. Healthcare officials do not know what animal caused COVID-19. The COVID-19 virus can be spread through contract with certain bodily fluids, such as droplets and a cough. It might also be caused by touching something an infected person has touched and then touching your hand to your mouth, nose, or eyes. Can a coronavirus be prevented or avoided? Try to avoid people who are sick or meeting in large groups. Stay home if you are sick. Cover your cough with a tissue or cough into your upper sleeve or elbow. Do not cough into your hands. Wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after going to the bathroom, before eating, and after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. If soap and water are not readily available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. Always wash hands with soap and water if hands are visibly dirty. Avoid touching your mouth, nose, or eyes. The Center for Disease Control, CDC, has issued travel advisories for several affected countries. If you're traveling to an area where the COVID-19 is present, please speak with your doctor. Coronavirus treatment. There is currently no vaccine or treatment for COVID-19. Symptoms of a coronavirus usually go away on their own. If symptoms feel worse than a common cold, contact your doctor. He or she may prescribe pain or fever medication. As with a cold or with the flu, drink fluids and get plenty of rest. If you are having trouble breathing, seek immediate health care. The three questions that go with source A include, what is the coronavirus? Where did COVID-19 originate or start and how did it start? And what can people do to prevent COVID-19 from spreading to others? Source B, the CDC. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, is the leading national public health institute of the United States. The CDC works 24-7 to protect America from health, safety, and security threats, 
both foreign and in the U.S. Whether diseases start at home or abroad, are chronic or acute, curable or preventable, human error or deliberate attack, CDC fights disease and supports communities and citizens to do the same. The main goal of the CDC is to protect public health and safety through the control and prevention of disease, injury, and disability in the U.S. and internationally. CDC increases the health security of our nation as the nation's health protection agency. CDC saves lives and protects people from health threats. To accomplish our mission, CDC conducts critical science and provides health information that protects our nation against expensive and dangerous health threats and respond when these arise. The CDC focuses national attention on developing and applying disease control and prevention. It focuses its attention on infectious disease, food-borne pathogens, environmental health, occupational safety, and health, health promotion, injury prevention, and educational activities designed to improve the health of U.S. citizens. Associated with this source is question number four, what is the CDC and what does the CDC do? Include evidence, use source B. Source C requires you to look at a map of the United States and look at the coronavirus cases. While looking at the map, the most important thing to identify is this key here. You see that the darker areas here are the areas with the most coronavirus cases. Uh, the areas that are lighter in color up here only have one to five cases as of March 19th, 2020. We'll see, this is Illinois here. Chicago would be right up here. So that's the state that we currently are in. This map is to help you as well. If you're confused on which states are which, you can use this map to help you answer questions five and six, which U.S. states have the most coronavirus cases and which U.S. states have the least amount of coronavirus cases. Source D, what is social distancing and how do you do it? Governments around the world are responding to the COVID-19 pandemic and social distancing is a central aspect of plans to limit the spread of the virus. But what is social distancing and how do you do it? What does social distancing mean? Social distancing practices are changes in behavior that can help stop the spread of infections. These often include limiting social contact, work and schooling among seemingly healthy individuals. How do you practice social distancing? As an individual, you can lower your risk of infection by reducing your rate of contact with other people, avoiding public spaces and unnecessary social gatherings, especially events with large numbers of people or crowds, will lower the chance that you will be exposed to the new coronavirus as well as to other infectious diseases like flu. Does social distancing work? There's evidence from previous outbreaks, including the 1918 flu pandemic and the 2014 Ebola outbreak, as well as from outbreak simulations, that social distancing can effectively limit the spread of infections. We don't know exactly how the new coronavirus spreads, but similar viruses are predominantly transmitted by droplets emitted from the mouths and noses of infected people when they cough or sneeze, which can land on surfaces in people's hands. How are countries implementing social distancing? China implemented particularly stringent measures in the Hubei province where the first new coronavirus cases were detected. In addition to quarantining the region and building isolation facilities, the Chinese government used mobile phone tracking to monitor people's movements and prevent people with confirmed infections from traveling. Since Italy went into lockdown, Many other European countries have imposed travel restrictions and closed schools, as well as other public places like restaurants and bars. The European Commission has put forward plans to close the European Union borders and restrict all non-essential travel to the Schengen area of countries that have no border controls between them. The UK government is advising its citizens to stop all non-essential contact with other people. What are the potential negative impacts of social distancing? It has already affected the global economy because people are staying at home and demand for goods and services has fallen. Concerns have also been expressed that social distancing could lead to increased loneliness, especially among older people who are at a higher risk of severe COVID-19. The questions associated with this source include, when has social distancing been used before? What are some negative effects of social distancing? 
and what are some positive effects of social distancing? Global Coronavirus Cases, Source E. Based on the chart above, which countries have the greatest amount of coronavirus cases? Using this chart, you want to look in this column for cases and this column here for deaths. Question 11 is a challenging question. It states on the chart above, Italy has less cases than China. However, Italy has more deaths. So if you look here, China has 81,000 cases or more. Italy has 41,000 cases or more, but we have Italy with more deaths than China. You want to draw a conclusion why you think that might be, whether that has to do with the healthcare system, with government rules, uh, why that might be the case. Source F. Chinese coronavirus experts warn Northern Italy's lockdown measures are not enough. The death toll from an outbreak of coronavirus in Italy rose in the last 24 hours by 427 to 3,405, overtaking the total number of deaths so far registered in China. The coronavirus measures in place in the hard-hit Lombardy region of northern Italy are not strict enough, according to Chinese medical experts helping the country deal with the crisis. The situation in Italy right now is similar to what we experienced two months ago in Wuhan, China, the epicenter of COVID-19, the Chinese Red Cross vice president said Thursday in a press conference in Milan. In the city of Wuhan, after one month since the adoption of the lockdown policy, we see a decreasing trend from the peak of the disease. Here in Italy, the hardest hit area by COVID-19, there isn't a very strict lockdown. Public transportation is still working and people are still moving around. You're still having dinner parties in the hotels that you're not wearing masks. We need every citizen to be involved in the fight and follow this policy. He advised Italians to stop all economic activities and cut the mobility of people. Everyone should just stay at home, he added. Questions 12 and 13 ask, what are Chinese medical experts saying about the coronavirus measures and what is the Chinese Red Cross pre Vice President advice that he gives to officials in Italy? Source G, Italy calls in military to enforce coronavirus lockdown. Soldiers were being drafted in to help enforce the lockdown in Italy on Friday as officials announced 627 new deaths, the largest single day toll anywhere in the world since the coronavirus outbreak began. Desperate scenes have unfolded in the north of the country, particularly the hard-hit northern region where infections first exploded last month as hospitals struggle to treat thousands of cases. Chinese medical experts who are helping Italy deal with the crisis have said the restrictions imposed in northern Italy are not strict enough. The government has now agreed that the military can be used to help enforce the lockdown. The request to use the army has been accepted and 114 soldiers will be on the ground. It is still too little, but it is positive. Unfortunately, we are not seeing a change in the trend of numbers, which are rising. The soldiers, soldiers had until now to be deployed in the region to ensure general security in the streets. More than 4,000 people have now died from the disease in Italy, the country's civil protection agency said Friday, more than any other nation, and nearly 6,000 new infections were confirmed in the past day bringing the total to more than 47,000 cases. One Italian mayor on Thursday announced plans to build a field hospital in the city to help manage the situation. Questions include, why is the military being called into Italy? And using context clues from the text, what do you think a lockdown is? This final source requires you to read and look through the captions of the COVID-19 and identify the most common system symptoms as well as other symptoms that patients might have. And then based on this diagram here, which part of the body you think the coronavirus affects the most. This challenge assignment is for students that want to be extra prepared on Friday, thinking through from the perspective of these stakeholders, how can our global community work together to fight the coronavirus? All right, if you have any questions, go ahead and send your teacher a call or text. Uh, will be available for office hours every day. Good luck to the Coronavirus Council.